Hello YouTube, this is Forza Potenza and welcome to a new series on this channel. This is the Forza Potenza Race to Glory. Um, basically, I'll be doing races in different tiers and categories of racing. Um, there'll be points awarded at the end in the points um, system you can see on your screen there. So it's first to eight, or it's first eight positions with the point system for, that used to be used in F1. So 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, that's the amount of points done after for each of those positions. You can see on that graph there. Below the top 10 will cost me a point. Fastest lap is worth a point, and pole position is also worth one point. In a game I can't use do um, a qualifying round for, I will just count the fastest lap for two. And after three races in each tier, um, like there will be a, these points will be awarded. So if I get 32 points or more, I get promoted two tiers. So I get to skip one. This will all make sense in a very quick moment. If I get 20 points, I'll just get promoted normally. Between 12 and 19, I stay in the same tier. And if I get below 12 points after the three races, I get relegated. Um, because I can't get relegated from the right bottom tier, um, if I do get relegated in there, I will think of a forfeit for myself. Um, that Like a handicap that I have to have for the um, races in the next category. Well, when I redo the category, that's how that's going to work. So anyway, on your screen in a moment will be the tier system. Here it is now. Um, so I'm doing single seaters, GT, Slash Le Mans, Rally Racing and Touring Cars. And the Formula 3 players and one I need to go through, that's been put down as Race 07. Um, it may be Race Pro depending if I complete the game in time. Um, and see there, I'm trying to use a variety of games. So I've got Race Pro, Forza 4, Dirt 3, the WRC games, and F1 2013, and potentially Race 07. So you can see there are all the different categories I'll be doing. Um, they, they may change about, um, like in red you can see the games there. They may change about depending on what I want to do. So if I remember, um, if, I go for, if I'm playing a game like Need for Speed Shift and I realise there's a mode on there that I didn't know about, I may change it um, coming well before I take on the category. And there may be even be changes on the GT one in particular due to a few issues that I didn't realise I was going to have due to unlocking certain parts of the game. Anyway, now let's get ready to start our first race. Um, we are starting with the Radical Championship. Um, I get to choose the three circuits for this. I'm going to make it five lap, my five lap races. Um, I've, I've recorded the first couple. Um, I've rec recorded the first two episodes. I may reduce the races down to three laps. They're currently on five laps. Um, I decided to go for the SR3 Championship. I had the choice of that or the SR4 Championship. Um, but I've gone for the blue car. Um, I do tend to try some blue cars anyway, but the bronze one looks a bit stupid, I feel, I thought. Um, 15 opponents to make it difficult, and the reason it's but from like 11th downwards that you lose points is because every game I will play, there can be at least 12 cars. Um, like, if I'm playing one with less, I may change the point system. Like, we'll see what I end up doing, because um, I don't want to make it really cheaty. Um, I want to make it as fair as possible, ultimately, that is the aim of this. So here you are, the first circuit I've chosen is one of my favourite circuits in Britain, one of my favourite in racing games, it is Grand Hat, with the one shot qualifying in this Radical. Let's see what we can do, into the first corner, and we're getting eight turns, come on. So what we can do, we're carrying far too much speed through there, it's alright to take that line weirdly, I don't pin loads of food. Um, we've got to go heavy on the brakes, but we're not heavy enough and not getting turned in. Um, I don't know why I've paused. I mean, I'm post com. I'm doing a post commentary on this one um, because yeah, syncing it up was a pain. But now I've got all oh, problems fixed. That's all right. Um, unfortunately, there to go wide. That cost us the whole lap, I reckon. Um, you'll see now coming through here. Look, we've still got a good speed, really. We are. Look, we are a very competitive driver, and um, we. I, I think to suit this car quite well, and look. I think it's lightweight, so it's got a lot of power, it's got good power to that ratio, you've got good visibility, and and it's got good steering, I and mean, some cars don't have this good steering on the race, bro. Um, but it's, it's a game I absolutely adore. One of my favourite racing games, um, like for pure racing, it, I mean, you'll see later on in this video, because I'm doing the two races per episode. Right, so now we're coming through these corners, I wish I'd have researched what the names are for these corners, because I'm just going to mess up. But then again, I'll have to research potentially 20 tracks, 30 tracks through each episode, depending. And I'll d oh, I don't want to have to think about 20 or 30 
in with the layout for corner lane. I'll just go from what I can say. So now we're coming under this tunnel. Oh, bridge, I think it is more than a tunnel. Yes, it is. Anyway, through the final corner, and we're going to go past the um, entry to the pit lane and let's get up to the line. What have we done in terms of lap there? We're right at the back, but there is a positive from that. We're only eight tenths off the leader. The only place we lost any time whatsoever was in that first sector, and that was because of the accident. But we, that was pretty good, to be fair. We were dominating the rest of the lap, and we just got unlucky about that mistake. Um, if I hadn't made that mistake, I probably would have got the point for pole position. But And I know it makes it a bit more difficult for us in the race, but hey, let's see. If, I think we can get through in the race, to be fair. Um, we seem to be quite fast in the car. We seem to have a good grip on it. I mean, our second and third sectors were incredible. But now here we are, that moment has come as we enter the race. And it's one light, two light, three light, and away we go now at the start of this championship. Come on, we're getting plenty of positions there, up into the top ten already. Now we're going to go for ninth, and we're going to get stuck behind the car ahead of us. Come on, let's just see what we can do. And every single car seems to go wide there. We're going to dive, we're going to be risky here, we're going to take it the brave way through and we're going to try and muscle our way through there. That didn't work out too well. Come on, let's see how well we're going to do. Come on, get on the brakes, yes, that's pretty decent. But we've lost the position, we're down to eight. Come on, we, I just, really, it's all, it's not so much, we want to be sensible with this because having only three races in the category, we will potentially lose eight if we make mistakes. We can't afford mistakes too much, too often, um, and we can't afford massive ones that cost us races. Um, that would really be a pain. So coming down now, into, at the end of the long straight into this corner, um, we'll get a bit of a wobble going there, and we need to get the car better controlled than that. I, I would definitely say. Come on, let's see how well we're going to do from here. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Come on. But we have lost the monumental amount of time to the car ahead, but we will catch them at some point, I reckon. But God, uh, we, we do have the speed and we do have the good braking. And also, I find the medium to high speed corners, they have to brake for I don't. So that gives me an absolutely humongous advantage over the rest of them. I have to brake because they're braking, but I could take it just with a little bit of a lift if it wasn't for them. But anyway, now we are coming down onto the start finish straight. And we can see we're trying to get the slipstream on the car head. We have the momentum, but we are nowhere near close to getting in the braking zone. So that's good driving for the first corner. Don't go too wide, don't go too scruffy. And there we are, we're nicely through there. If we come into the hairpin now, let's try and get the turn. Come on, get it round the outside. That is going to be difficult. But we've done alright there. And um, we have caught massively, and we're going to go for a massive dive up the inside. Has that paid off? Yes, it has. You can see just about in the rear view mirror, we just about made that pay off. You know, we come into the braking zone here, the way the um, indie circuit goes off. And um, we're doing alright, and now we're right on the back of this red radical. Now we've got the position, and that is a beautiful move. Probably put him up a bit too much there. Bit cheaty, but it works, and it's got the position, and it's technically not illegal. Um, okay. Anyway, now we're right um, up the um, back side of this orange radical. I don't know driver names in the series. I won't know them in the lot of the series I cover. I will know them in the touring cars, but yeah. Anyway, now let's see what we can do. Um, we're in fifth. We're going to dodge the fourth, but that's never going to work. And we have gone a bit wide. We have went wide, but we went wider, considering we were on the inside. But now, coming towards the final corner, surely we can get a run on the start finish straight because this is where we're going all our momentum. And this game has. By the way, it's some of the best AI I have ever seen. I just absolutely admire it. It, it really is like you're racing and touring guys in every single race. I mean, I know you don't want that in radical racing, but it really is close racing and it reminds me somewhat of the British Touring Car Championship in the last few seasons. Anyway, we got through there into first place, coming into the first corner, trying not to get too wide. Everybody else has gotten wide around us, but fourth place is looking very good indeed. Right, hey, come on, we're up the inside of the red car and that will not quite work. Come on, where are we going to get him when we're going to get him we're going to stick it up his inside. That was a beautiful move, but he's got us on the outside. Absolutely fantastic racing. It really is wheel-to-wheel -wheel a lot of the time on this game. 
it is fantastic for that exact reason. And um, we got cut off a little bit there, but we just we didn't have our nose in front. And we we are really close, but we're just losing out and straight there. And that's going to get too slow for us to get our advantage going. But now we're coming into um these very tricky corners. I, I struggle with these. They're, they're a little they're a little bit blind and they're just a little bit difficult because um you never know how hard you need to break or lift up and it sort of compromises. Um, risk versus reward as it is through a lot of this series I will say because um, the point is done but now we are up into third let's see how well we can do right if we come past the guy now <laughs> with, the cam with the camera crane I guess that could be called camera crane man that will work um, but anyway we're coming down towards the final corner we are in third place which is a very good position but from 16th on the grid going up 13 position is pretty darn impressive and now we're going to get we're going to try and get in the slip screen down this start finish there with two laps to go we've just set an absolutely blistering lap time and now we get into the first corner try and take it nice and easy do not risk a crash here come on what are we going to do into the head and we're going to dive here we are absolutely diving up his inside and we get into second place very good move Come on, but he's going for it now, he's on the inside and he was going for it then, he's committed, but we just about hold on. Right now, we're not very far behind the leader, we get a bit on the grass there, instead of the car quite a bit, um, you really feel the bumps on this game as well, not so much for the controller, but you can sort of see the way the car reacts and you take a line slightly wrong or you get a wheel on the grass, it really can screw you over, unlike the other racing games I play. I mean, sometimes to be the Final line between simulation and arcade. This is arcade graphics, but simulation racing. But it's not arcade, it's just. Uh, it looks very much like Test Driver Limited, and I kind of like that. I think the original one, I mean, I don't mean the second one. But the, this really is a true simulator, and it works on the Atari and the Simbin, so it's good to have the mix of ultimate simulation from like Simbin and ultimate arcadeness from Atari. Of course, the kings of the arcade um, and the arcade console, they were. Um, when that was just up here like the um, 2600 but either way now we have lost a ton of positions there I'm just absolutely blabbering on about bugger all really and now we're going to dive up the inside we get fifth place there but come on let's just see what we can do we have the momentum through there and that is what we're really good at we can just get the run down the straight and that was a 139.901 that was 3 seconds off the pace due to that mistake but um, we are right on the gearbox now with a car ahead of us and we're going to dive up his inside and that is a beautiful move we hit the back there of the um, red radical oh, it's so hard, I can't even say different manufacturer names because they're all the same manufacturer but we tried to drop the inside and he got the run there he's gone slightly wide and I need to make sure I'm careful for this corner I'm going to absolutely throw it up his inside but I'm nowhere near him uh, I, I was really trying to go for it then. I was just trying to go for manoeuvres like that. Um, no, he's got away there, but I think we're getting the momentum back a little bit. He's zooming off at a slower rate, but no, nah, he's got well ahead of us there. The day and ill bit has sort of killed off our speed in comparison to his. But now we're going to have a bit of a lunge there. We're trying to get as close as we can to the braking zone. We are really good, and especially in a lightweight car with um, very good brakes and a lot of downforce. It's very easy to we go on to the break. But now we're going to absolutely throw it up his inside and we have made a bit of a mistake there but that's just the way it is and we lost, we didn't get the position anyway. We're going to dive up his inside again. We're just trying to get third for all of its worth really. So, I just knocked the microphone there so if that had a bit of an effect on the sound. Come on. Let's see what we can do. I've hit him up the backside again. It's killed off our momentum a little bit but we have got the slip screen. We're gonna, we're gonna absolutely just get in the toe, and that's the final lap. I didn't even realise that's the final lap. Then, <laughs> oh, I'm terrible at coming to the last. Yeah, I've got. Uh, we ended up coming fourth in the end, but we set the fastest lap of the race as the green shows. So that means that even though we didn't get third place, we still get a valuable six points. Um, it just about puts us on track for promotion, depending on how well we can do for the rest of the races. So our next circuit now is Curtiva in the Radical once more. I, I, as I say, I get to choose the circuits on this. 
but now here we are on our qualifying run. Let's see what we can do in this lap. Um, this corner I always break far too early for. I have to try and break later than I think I can, and it really doesn't feel comfortable. Um, I'd never know where quite to break for that. Um, but we get through that corner just fine, really. Right, now we're on the run down here. Let's see how quick we can go. Come on, let's see what we can actually get out of this car. Into the braking zone now. We're going to be a bit sensible through here. Let's see how quick we can actually go. Come on, now we're good through here. Um, like these sort of corners are fantastic this car, but this bit is tricky. And I'm trying not to mess it up. And I ha it always feels really slow, and I can't quite take down to that level because you don't realise how slow that corner is in this car. Now here we are into fourth gear now. We're going to try and take it flat out through here. We won't be able to do this in the race. We only have to lift a little bit there. And because the AI do go on, do stab on the brakes for that. And really, it screws us over a little bit. We need another area that we just carry so much speed through during race conditions through the final corner. Now let's get the run to the line and we'll see whereabouts we will be qualifying for this round. Where is it going to be? Seconds. Less than a tenth up as well. That is extremely close. We missed out on that point for qualifying in pole position. And that is so unlucky. Oh, that is so close. But, oh, boy, we've got to carry on now. Right, let's get into the race now. Come on. Like, I'm feeling this now. I'm really feeling it. Um, like, you can see from that qualifying run how quick we were. And I love this circuit. Like, on race 07, this is probably the circuit I'm the most successful at. Um, I'm making arm movements. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I'm just like that. I know I'm in front of a microphone and not a webcam, but still. Anyway, now, it's loaded up and we are ready to go racing at Curtiba. And here we go. Let's get ready. Starting from the front row of the grid is a nice place to be. And we are away now. It is the green light and we get a decent start. We're alongside the car. Along <laughs> oh, <it's> <laughs> oh, screw what I'm saying. We're along of course we're alongside the car. We're alongside it. Oh, there's something we're walking on. I've this microphone except less infected. But anyway, into the first corner. And there we go. Yeah, and we've gone off there. Oh, come on. What can we do? I don't know. Yeah, I'm too tired as I say this. <laughs> oh, come on. Right, now we're, we're on the run now down to the um, first sector thing. Right, that's the um, split thing. Yeah, really dull. I think it's dull to it's done, isn't it? Um, I'm, not, I'm used to racing engineer terms. I love motorsport. I'm still not used to the, the terms like Delta and that. Uh, I presume that's just an American thing. That. Anyway, I'll stop talking absolute gibberish. And there we are. We're, we're five tenths ahead of that bit, which is now pretty much. Um, I feel like ages away because. Well, look at that. A very good overtake there for the lead. We just didn't carry the speed for that corner. But I know that we're going to carry the pace through here. And we tap the backside of the car just ahead of us. And now we're really going to absolutely go for it. Um, we couldn't quite get the move done in that corner. And because of the way they break the, the AI are going for a diving move, but it's not going to work. The, the car's out wide there, but we're just going to take the undercut and we're going to get up into second place. Cutting onto the main straight. Now we just have all the momentum. We are just getting a massive toe from this hip screen. Honestly, that is incredible. And there we go, we're going to dive up the inside, who's going to be the bravest on the brakes? Uh, I managed to do it for once, I think. Um, I'm leaving room, I don't know if he's still there or not, but he is there, and he's just gone up our inside. Ah, oh, this is the best AI I've ever raced against. I've never known an AI just so fantastic, and they're impossible to pass, and the hard difficult to go is the more impossible they become. Into the braking zone of this reasonably fast hairpin. Oh, I've never said that before. Um, I'll be up. No, me. But, um, excuse me. I haven't got a drink on me either. Damn. Anyway, so now we're going to come into this very difficult corner. We're going to outbreak the other driver and almost outbreak ourselves. But we have outbroke ourselves. He's just undercut us completely. And we get a bit of a tap there. Had to have a little look. Um, you can barely see anything in the wing mirrors because of the way I am. Um, the settings are with the dials. I might have to readjust them um, at some point. But anyway, we're going to make a. We're going very fast down here because we didn't have the traffic into that um, 
sweeping corner. Now through the final corner, we have the advantage, we have the momentum and we have the inside line. He cannot hold on here, can he? Surely. We are well ahead now, I believe. No, let's not build a gap. Let's not go for fastest lap of the race, because that is going to be important. And anyway, we're half a second ahead of the car um, in second place, which is pretty decent. And now let's get it turned in through the chicane and now through this corner, which is a bit tricky. But we get it sorted and now we are on the run down. <laughs> is this the back straight? I don't know. Like, because sometimes back straight not the direct one for the last corner. I'm guessing this is sort of. Isn't it too? Sorry about that. <laughs> Cold in the air. Is that recording now? It's all finished. <laughs> anyway, you get turned through that corner. I know this corner is quite fast, but you have to be a bit careful. Um, it doesn't do it just this, I um, think it says on the recommended gear. Because trying to get slowed down for that is really difficult, and we have gone wide. Let's hope that we don't get overtaken. Please, we get hit up the gearbox there by the radical behind us. And is he going to go into the No, he isn't, because he hasn't got the speed. He's breaking through there. We can be very brave, and we just about do it. And now we are another flat out corner for us at the AI. We have to go a bit slower for into the final corner. Let's see how well we can actually do through this final corner. We've got two laps remaining. So I think, well, while I'm through a win here, we are driving impeccably well. We're making the other mistake, but we are able to recover from it. And there we are, 123.6. Oh, come on. Come on. Now, nah, we're coming into this game and for the fourth time out of five, and that is... Very good driving through there for me. It's an unusual thing for me to say because I'm normally a terrible driver. I am the worst uh, when it comes to driving on racing games. It, it seems to be. Um, anyway, now we get a good run here and we're going to slam on the brakes. Just try and get turned in. Try not to loop. Because then they've got 1.3 second gap. It isn't worth putting on the line. Um, really. Uh, it's, it's nice to be able to build a gap, um, but not too much of one. But if we can build it more for if we do make the inevitable mistake, or for when we make the mistake, then that would be nice, but we don't want to risk it. We don't want to, oh, we don't want to go up in the search for glory. And we just want to try and keep it nice, keep it neat. And we're going to go flat out through here, because I really do trust the car through that corner. And we've got the gap up to 1.4 now. I think it's up, <laughs> I didn't see the last one, I think it's on 1.3. But anyway, now we come into the hairpin um, at the end of the lap. We can carry so much speed through here, we're maxing out in third gear. Now we're going to have to change it into fourth as we come across the line. Almost. Come on, we've got one lap remaining. We have to hold on now as we set another quick lap. And we have a, the gaps up to 2.6 now. We've done all the hard work, it's just a case of getting it to the flag, but if we slow down too much, if we take it too easy, they will get us, and they, it is really difficult to defend on this game. It is absolutely phenomenal. I'm sure in some of the other cars it is easier to defend. So I had to pause it then. Um, so I had to pause, and we're in a different part of the track, I believe. Um, we are off, um, so I had to do that. Um, so some, um, when I was actually doing the race, um, the reason it's not a lot of comments is because I did have to go away from the microphone for a little bit, and away from the game, so, anyway, just ignore that. Um, now we are on the final lap, we did make that mistake, um, because I was trying to get back used to it after pausing, and now we're going flat out through here, and another corner, now we really are giving it our all down this section, onto the back straight, or one or two back straights as I say. Um, this corner can be taken in fourth gear, but we're just about doing it in third. Come on, let's get through here. Now it's just a run to the line and hope there's no car right on our tail, and there is nothing. So I'm going to go on this line a little bit and celebrate with my team as we take the win and set the fastest lap of the race. Almost a hat trick, but that is 11 points on the board, which means that after the first two races, we have 17 points. We only need three points in our next race to secure promotion to the next round. Thank you so much for watching this video. This has been for the Tender and I shall see you in the next episode. Bye!